Hello Škoda fans, this is the first look at the new Škoda Superb Combi or the wagon version and Estate, that's like the three names you call it in Europe and uh, this is obviously a prototype in a camo version you can see the uh, silhouette of the car and the shape so let's let's do a little walk around and just first comments on how does it look well, checking the front end, we have a wider grill. We have uh, a long and sort of square-ish um, LED lights design. We have the side tunneling there. And this bonnet looks like on the new ANIAC uh, there. And the front end also looks like Skoda Octavia 4th generation. So this is sort of like if Aniac and Octavia for generation had a baby that's slightly smaller longer and so on it's a joke of course but this is the new suburb and it does look more up-to-date uh, this is their flagship so yeah now uh, we have a big grill there should be a radar here but they decided to put a camera and it's not in center for some reason that's a little bit odd there not sure if this is finished product or not they do have still the classical Škoda badge so they didn't change the badge yet now uh, this is supposed to be the new interior and as you can see they added this nice new knobs now this console here is from the new ID7 or very similar to that you still have the same steering wheel and we have these uh, new air vents in there but I like the dash uh, there is big 15 inch infotainment there and they've added also a larger screen there but it looks the rest looks very uh, nice Skoda like and again beautiful design on those AC physical controls now I'm showing you the picture because inside the vehicle it's uh, camoed as you might expect now checking the uh, LED headlights from the front so there's two lenses and reflectors there's daytum running lights that uh, turn to turn signals there not sure if this alley is finished design or just a prototype so we can see those creases on the hood they are slightly sharper it looks like this vehicle is in white color originally and you know you're not gonna get this Škoda on the front at least so we have the same turn signals same camera same side mirrors definitely so uh, same roof rack as on the Octavia 4 and the Superb is really really long as you might expect it's their biggest model that's not an SUV so over here you can see the silhouette of those uh, LED taillights they're really extending a lot towards the sides and then over here they are extending there so it seems like it's a new c-shaped design all LED and let me see here if I can lower down. So they've made a good effort to stick everything into this wrap. Have to go around this. And there is a slight glimpse inside, tinted rear windows. So the new design of these LED taillights is extending here. So that's interesting. And well, this is plain and this is plain. So I think they might add like Škoda leathers on the back in the future so again this is a prototype but it's nice and long and it looks very spacious I mean this is uh, very really long just the, the storage area is gonna be real big and then to see the side profile from this end or let me just back up see I have space behind me so there's a whole car it is very long and to wrap it up here so this is the new dash, you can see it from this angle. So we have the new 15-inch uh, screen for there. We have the new digital cockpit. And then uh, they've added, I'm not sure if you can notice, they added this fake leather, it's like a sticker. It's covering the dash. Even the air vents are open, but the rest, the AC knobs are hidden. Uh, the dash, excuse me, the middle bridge is uh, open. So it definitely looks like the new ID7-ish, I think slightly shorter though and you can see the new seats they look slightly redesigned but it's the same design just different textile colors it does look nice 
and I noticed on the windshield there's the, like these two spots uh, this is for your electronic tool pay tools um, so they've added that and no heads-up display so I'm just gonna do another turn and once again you can see they've covered this piece in the front uh, there it covered the badge but we can see it you know we can see it definitely so another look here uh, they've added a bigger camera for the lane assist I think there should be an option for the heads-up display it also looks like a cover they just put it there because it's not a finished product and we can definitely see here uh, the levers for the lights are different you can see the lever here is for the wipers and over there you have from the ID7 the new uh, DSG so you just you know turn it like that I'm not sure everyone's uh, happy about that but that's the new superb you can see the screen is larger and wider but has a bezel uh, I think the new 15 inch screen I think that's a 15 inch does look better and it's not too intrusive like on the new ID7 but we're gonna of course see that once we actually sit in the car in a finished product so uh, checking on the back it's pretty dark but yeah, it should be spacious and I'm gonna wrap it here so this is just a first look at the new Skoda Superb